Welcome back to a little bit of Calm and Crazy. My name is Jennifer and today I am hoping to give you some clean and motivations as I bring you along for this clean with me. I am so excited because today's video is in collab with Kelly over on Kelly's Corner. I found her, oh, just about a month and a half ago and you guys, she kills it on her cleaning, cleaning videos. I absolutely thoroughly enjoy them. If I need some cleaning motivation, she is definitely one that I like to check out in order to get that. So if you have not been to Kelly's channel, you need to go check her out and check out her cleaning video. We'll give you two for the price of one today. <laughs> I will leave her channel and her video linked below so that you can make sure that you go and check that out. If you are coming over from Kelly's channel, welcome. I am so glad you are here. And if you are new to my channel and you happened upon it, welcome as well. If you haven't taken the time to hit that subscribe button, I hope that you will. And I hope you really do enjoy this cleaning motivation today. As you can see, I've already made my bed. That is a great way for me to start the day. And I also like to get a load of laundry going. Um, a lot of times I have a load to put away from the previous day. So that is what you see that I am doing right here. I need to put away yesterday's laundry. And then I'll just take care of some other basic morning daily things for the day. My house is not cluttered necessarily. It's just actually dirty. It just needs to be clean. So you won't see that I have to pick up a ton of stuff. You will actually see that I just need to clean it because, well, we live here. There are five of us and life happens. So that is exactly what we're going to do. This is an actual clean with me, not a pick up clutter with me today. So let's crank up some music and get it going. So the things that I like to make sure that I do every single day is I like to make sure I make my bed. I like to do a load of laundry so that I can stay on top of it and it doesn't pile up on me. And I like to make sure that I tackle the kitchen. So here I'm of course unloading the dishwasher and loading it again, but I'm basically just cleaning up from breakfast this morning. After that, anything else I do is bonus. And so that is what you're gonna see most in this video is the bonus stuff, the actual cleaning, the things that I need to get done beyond the day-to-day -day things. squirt bottle I have a combination of dish soap and water that my husband is so sweet and mixes up for us I love having it this way and it actually makes it really easy if my kids are helping me by doing their own dishes am I the only one that basically washes my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher I'm not super precise but I always have to do a pretty good rinse before I ever load the dishwasher and I know that it drives my husband batty So now I'm going in with the Method Daily Granite Cleaner to wipe off my countertops. What do you use on your countertops? I would love to know. I really do enjoy the Method products, but I'm also always curious about what other people use. Um, scents, I don't like really strong scents, but I do like things that have like clean scents to them. So if you have any recommendations or suggestions for me, leave those for me in the comments below. <laughs> I don't even own a dustpan, so we sweep into piles and then always use our hand vacuum in order to vacuum those up. I love it. Now it's time for me to go in and mop my floors, and you guys, they were 
gross. They seriously needed a good mop. So this is a shark steam mop. I love it. I always feel like it does a really good job. Now I can use this on its lowest setting on my hardwood floors too and that's another reason why I like it. I will not be using that today. I alternate how I do my hardwood floors. But if I need a good cleaning on my kitchen floors, I always pull this out. And if I just need a real quick clean, then I'll just grab like my Swiffer wet wipes and just take those over to the kitchen floor. So this only comes out probably about once a week, to be honest. But today, it needed it. for me to tackle the things that really need to be cleaned. So I'm gonna be focusing on dusting as well as I need to do my blinds and of course my floors. So I'm gonna start off with dusting and I'm going in again with some more method and this is just the wood daily clean. This stuff smells so good. It's just a real clean almond scent. I love it. <music> Valentine decor that you are going to see throughout my house while I'm doing this video are things that I have made. Um, I did not have very much going into this year and I really wanted to decorate my home. So I wanted to do it and I was able to do all of my different Valentine decorations for around $30. And so if you're interested in any of those videos, I will link the playlist so that you can check them out. I'm all about doing really easy DIYs as well as ones on a budget. <music> find in my cleaning videos that I tackle as much as I'm able to get done in a time and so on some of my videos you might see like I have on my pajamas in the morning I may even have my workout clothes on and then I'm dressed for the day because I take care of things as I have time to do them and so I might have 10 minutes here and 15 minutes there I very seldom have a full day to ever clean my house. That's just not realistic for, for me, for my family. And so I just take the time that I have and try to tackle things here and there and get done what I can. The best way I can find to keep my house from being cluttered is to try to pick up as I go. And sometimes I'm really good at that and other times I fell miserably. And let's face it, it also depends on how my kids are doing with it and how many toys they think need to come out of their bedrooms and kind of take over my house. I find that the best way and the fastest way for me to get things done is to focus on one thing at a time. I know some people like to focus on one room at a time, but I will focus on like one chore. And so right now I'm focusing on the dusting. I'm trying to get all the dusting done that I can, and then I'll move on and I'll focus on blinds. And sometimes it might be blinds in just one room like it is today, and sometimes it's the blinds throughout the entire house. It really depends on what my time frame looks like and what actually needs to get done. So I kind of just set a priority list and tackle as much as I can going from my top priority to my lowest priority in that day. So 
that is a load of laundry that I gathered up this morning that I haven't folded yet sitting there on my bed. I am saving that for the very end of my cleaning so that I can actually fold it and then reward myself. So it is just hanging out and waiting. That is supposed to say XOXO and I just noticed that I put them up wrong. So I have now fixed that. <laughs> So a friend of mine's husband is a doctor and he told her that it takes seven times to go over a spot when you're vacuuming. I don't know if that is true, but it sticks in my head and so I constantly will vacuum and oh yes, there has been times where I have counted seven between the back and forth. Oh man. <laughs> almost everything but it can't get under everything it's a really big vacuum I am looking into getting one that can go under some of more of my furniture so I am going back in with a Swiffer just to make sure that I'm getting underneath everything and getting any sort of dust balls hair all that kind of stuff picked up before I go in and mop my floors So here I'm using Bona to mop my floors. I really do like that the shine that it gives my floors and that it doesn't leave a film or anything. Again, I mentioned earlier, sometimes I will use my steam mop, my shark on the lowest setting, or I'll go in with the Bona if I want it to kind of have more of a shine. Now that my cleaning is done, it's time for me to go back and focus on my laundry. So I'm switching it over from the washer to the dryer. I do actually hang up quite a bit of our clothes. So mainly I only put in pajamas, socks, underwear, things like that into the dryer. And then I hang everything else up. I find that it helps the wear of the clothes as well as if there's a stain that I missed because I have kids, then it doesn't get set in and it never stresses me out. I can go back and wash it again. So this way of doing laundry has worked very well for me. that 
that is all done. It is time for me to reward myself. I'm going to watch a Netflix show. I'm actually watching Heartland right now. I've never watched it before. This is my first time watching it. So if you've ever seen it, let me know what you think in the comments below. I love to turn on a show while I'm folding my laundry as a little bit of a reward for getting all my cleaning done. The total amount of time it took me to clean this day was an hour and a half. That's what I spent getting everything done. I was very happy with it. I hope this really does provide you with some cleaning motivation. Again, if you're coming over from Kelly's channel, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't been to Kelly's channel, go check out her video and get some more cleaning motivation today. What are you going to be cleaning today? I would love to know. Let's get some comments going and so that we can motivate one another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure that you do. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.